And all the roles I cast myself on on Dragon Ball Z back Turtle. in 1998. Yeah. And Gauss and Mez and Zarbon and uh, Dodoria and Raccoon and uh, Jace. A bunch of Gohan's friends in college. Basically the Frieza saga. Yeah. I, was that, I was that character. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I destroyed my voice. If it makes you feel any better, I was working in-house at Funimation at the time, so I really didn't get paid that much for it. So if you guys feel like, you know. <laughs> I was an in-house employee. I was essentially like doing a bunch of voluntary, painful work at the time. So, cool. Welcome to the DBZ Super Panel. It's over 9,000 times fun. No. Than other Come on, just uh, going, getting past the next question that was about to be asked anyway. Will you say over 9,000? <laughs> no. But I would. Just Sign get it out. over with. Yeah. I'll say it when you least expect it, so you just better keep your camera on me the entire time. Because <laughs> if I'm going to say this, I'm going to waste all of your battery and memory on your phones and devices. <laughs> donut attack! <laughs> you found a donut bar. Yes. Uh, okay, so we've been working on the show forever. Yes. Uh, Mike and I have been working on Dragon Ball since it was uh, like first brought to America. Yeah, like 97 or 98. Yeah, long, long, long time. And uh, it's just like we're just now finally understanding it. Yeah. It's much more than just shouting and powering up and tournaments. Yeah, it's about respect yeah. and love. <laughs> And more releases than you can shake a stick at. Yes. Releases. Yes. <laughs> Which are so gratifying. Partial releases and full releases. Like, the, the releasing the... Dragon Ball Z uh, Kai, uh, actually the Dragon Ball Z Blu-rays right now, which are yeah. kind of awesome. Have you heard about these at all? It's this new technology, Blu-ray. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same as... <laughs> Yeah, they'll, they'll get it in a few years. Yeah. You, guys are... you get it after you pee 1,080 times. Yeah. <laughs> Once Rhode Island has adopted it, you guys <laughs> are allowed to have it, right? Okay, so uh, instead of just hearing us ramble up here, do you guys have any questions for us by any chance? Mike, you, have, you wield the dot. I have the floor. I pick this hand that's over here. Oh. No, there was a guy there behind There was a guy behind him with a hand. You with a hand. Yes. Well, yeah. What's the scouter say about his power levels? Come on! It doesn't because it's an inanimate object and it doesn't speak. In That's what face. it says. In your face. <laughs> Boom. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, yeah, this is going to be so bad. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? It's over 9,000! Oh. Jonah, in the face! Oh, you all missed it! You didn't get to record me doing it! Unless some of you did have your cameras on me the whole time, like that guy over there. <laughs> Darn you, smart Canadians! Why'd you ask us questions? Uh, the show? Sure. Test our knowledge. Okay. What is my favorite color? <laughs> wow, are you off? <laughs> I get a donut. What does red smell like? <laughs> <laughs> According to Yamcha, in the American dub of Dragon Ball Z, what do cats like? Food? <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. Cats love food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said food. See, you guys didn't watch that version of it, did you? Hmm? I said food. Oh, he said food. You get a donut. I, I just thought you were hungry. I thought you were just like, hey, give me a donut. You get a Tim bit. Tim's right. bits are scattered all over the room. We're going to collect all seven. In the back, your hand is slightly up. You just put it down yeah. and look behind you. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. Hardest thing you would ever have to read? Hardest thing you'd ever have to, had to read? Uh, I don't know if I would remember it. <laughs> I am really, really bad at the word opportunity. And ability. Those words, I can't say those in a sentence. Yours? Yes. 
I'm actually really surprised at that. Really? Yeah. I, you shouldn't be, because if you ever have me have to say them, it's just dreadful, dreadful mistake. The Clinkin' Beard loves uh, 50 Cent words. What is your favorite word of all time? The one that's got like every letter in the alphabet in it. Lactinose and nihilopilification. It's a real word. It means to Sorry, judge something me, worthless. Right. Which I do constantly, but I don't use that damn word. Because you judge that word worthless. I love the paradox of that. And of that. <laughs> I love doxes when they come in pairs. Yeah, I can't say opportunity in a sentence. It's very difficult for me. Um, Different thing. There was a, when she's put on the spot. There was a series I worked on uh, called uh, Sasavi Magical Girls Club. And in a normal speaking mm. voice, I had trouble saying magical girls in the middle of a sentence. Because it would come out <laughs> magical. <laughs> you know what sucks? Is when you, you play a character who uh, who has a name that you can't even pronounce. Yes. And then you have to introduce yourself. This one. Roronoro Zoro. Roronoro Zoro. Roronoro Zoro. Roro Noah. Roro Noah. See, he always had to correct me. But then when you say it that way, it's like, I will get this right. Roro Noah. My name is Roro Noah Zoro. Yeah. Or you can be lazy and go, my name is Rora Nora. Rora Nora Zoro. My name is Frippert Gabbard Zoro. Nerva Shrippert Gabbard Zoro. See, Chelsea. Chel Orleans. <laughs> yeah. To go back to yours, though, I don't think it's that you have a problem with saying opportunity. Because I, I know what you're talking about. It's not, like, if you said, that's a great opportunity, you probably wouldn't you're have right, any trouble. Opportunity it's opportunity to, to opportunity to, right. to do something. And ability to. Ability to ability do to, something. Yeah. Ability, ability to, to have opportunities to do things. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Mike in your words. <laughs> Never will happen again. You uh, the five fingers in the middle. Like, yes. It went like this, real, like, tense. Yeah, you you put your hand down though. You with the hand. Short haircut. And the face. Yes. yes. Thank you for standing. Okay. Uh, well, yesterday, Pauline, you gave a story about Cassandra's being. I didn't do anything. I didn't tell any stories. <laughs> <laughs> there were no stories. Tell me more. Sit down. <laughs> Don't jump it for you. What did I say? There was a story about you being in Las Vegas and. Oh. Uh, you were apparently a full actor who picked up. Oh, yes. <laughs> a life story. <laughs> So, I'd like to hear your side of the story about this. He tells it way better than I do. <laughs> oh, no. I, like, I was there for this story. I saw this. <laughs> Some it, of it. It was, a, it was a pretty accurate story, like, it, probably the way she told it, because I remember it probably the same way, although I was absolutely, like, in complete joy the entire time. <laughs> this is the most fun I've ever had in Las Vegas, trust me. And that's but, saying something. That is but, saying something. But we went, uh, it was Colleen, it was a night where it just happened to be me and Colleen and, and Laura Bailey. We, we, There's just the three of us together. And so I, I wanted to gamble and they wanted to gamble, but we thought it would be funnier if I pretended to be a Polish actor and they were my uh, dancer friends. Like they were, but they're professional. They are professional dancer from Dallas, te Texas. Um, I don't think that was the voice I used, but no, whatever. It was more like Borat. Yeah, I think yeah. it was. I had just seen the Borat movie. Yeah, it was a lot more like Borat. And uh, so the whole time, I they they were playing it up. I'm like, okay, whatever you ask me for, you have to give me back. But you can ask for anything. <laughs> so Laura and Colleen be like. Hey, I forgot what my name was, but like I don't remember your name either. But like, I remember the movie. The movie that you had just won an award for was Flowers That Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept saying, "Are they nice people? They they dance from Dallas, Texas. <laughs> they're very nice. They professional dancer." And they're like, "Can we have one hundred dollars?" And like, "Which one is that one?" <laughs> like, <laughs> I need ten dollars. Uh, you like, hold out. Which one is? One of two zeros. Yeah. That one. And to make matters worse, we're we're in the we kept the whole act going even out into the parking lot, and some lady followed us out yes. there and talked to the girls because I pretended like I couldn't understand most of what anyone said to them. She's like, I love what you girls are doing. This is awesome. She's like, would it be okay if I asked him for some money? To <laughs> and, and he gave her money. I did. He gave her twenty because yeah. she thought it was so funny and you wanted to keep up the act. Yeah, I didn't want to disappoint her. There you go. <laughs>
Oh, but I'll pay to keep the joke up. Yes. Um, ooh, whoa, look at that creepy, slimy, green hand back there. Call on that one, then. Creepy, slimy, green hand, please. Back row, yes. Who's your least favorite character from Dragon Ball? Uh, uh, Chad's kind of creepy. <laughs> Little baby clown staring at you. He's a Pokemon! I don't want to collect him. I don't know if he's my least favorite, but he's creepy. I love my character as he ages, but in the very beginning, when you first meet him, he's so freaking annoying. He just cries and whines all the time. So I loved, I loved as we progressed, Chris would be like, you can raise your voice, a little, or you can lower your voice a little bit now, it's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. I would say in the very beginning, my character. Little baby Gohan. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. you're a bird. Um, <laughs> let's see. Actually, the character, I, to be honest, I'm sorry to say this, this is not a very popular answer to this, but I did not I did not like Frieza. And it's not necessarily because, you know, Frieza's personality or whatever. It's just that it took us years to record that <laughs> saga. <laughs> and Someone just, uh, kill this yeah. thing. Oh my god. <laughs> You talked about that last episode. I know, I get it. Are yes. you kidding? <laughs> Is this planet not destroyed yet? Yeah. My God. <laughs> Five minutes, my ass. Uh, yes, I get it. You're very strong. Oh. <laughs> you haven't seen my next transformation. Oh. Let's see it, please. I can't wait. Now I am Frieza, the Maybe little mechanical looking sleek one yeah. that's all white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if they just listened to Vegeta at the very beginning, the side, like the whole series has been over with in like ten episodes. I say we destroy them now. Okay. <laughs> the end. The end. Yeah. Majin Buu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Props really do help your your cause. Are you yeah, calling? I do. Are you calling the red I'm bag? Find a friend to hold in the air. <laughs> He's a vampire. I have a two-part question. I have a two-part answer. He's the same. Uh, part one is, how do you guys no, feel about Dragon Ball Z upgrade? The <laughs> yeah. I get that question a lot. Cool. Ooh, yeah. Do you want us to answer now, or do you want to answer the yeah. second question, too? And uh, part two is, what's your favorite, if you do enjoy it, what's your favorite quote from Dragon Ball Z Abridged? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I watch it. I think it's funny. I don't have quotes memorized. Uh, they, they go by so quickly. So I remember them saying something about like we're going to go to this area that's nowhere like on Earth, and it's right over here. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, I, I actually have a question, and, and answer this honestly, because I I love I love the Team Four Star guys. They're really good people. Does anyone is there is there some sort of message board thing, or is this some sort of meme? Like, tell me the truth. Is this some sort of meme to ask the actors whether they like the Dragon Ball Z Bridge series? Because I literally get that every, every single panel. Yeah. Somebody yeah. has their camera up and they say, do you like Dragon Ball Z Abridged? And tell me why and what's your favorite part yeah. about it. There's a thread going somewhere like, here's the latest answer, post. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious. And it doesn't matter. It's pretty, ge I mean, it's genius regardless. We think it's funny. Uh, I... I just watched the, uh, the the Dragon Ball Z Kai abridged. Oh, yeah. Have you guys seen that? The abridged yeah. of the abridged version of yes. Dragon Ball Z. Really? It's two minutes long, and it is absolutely... I think I have seen that. I think Justin showed it to me. Yeah. Oh, I want to watch it. It's so funny. And my favorite quote, because uh, it... I, is this, isn't there a shot of M. Night in it somewhere? M. Yes. Night? Okay, I have seen it. Yeah, yeah it's funny. Um, my favorite quote, and it's only because I actually might have said the same exact thing when we were recording this as a joke, but like when Gohan is like crying and won't come down, he's like, uh, Pickle's like, climb down! <laughs> what do I do? Climb down! <laughs> and I like anything that Mr. Popo says. <laughs> The dirt beneath the maggots. <laughs> yes. Whoa. <laughs> uh, the better the prop, the more likely the hat. Yes. Like, calling on the hat. <laughs> hat with a sword. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm a Yoshi. Uh, I'm sorry? Am I? Uh, every, time, every time you repeat it, someone says something. What? Can I ride you? Oh, no. 
said, can he ride you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's from Dragon Ball Z it, It's a Dragon Ball Z abridged uh, reference. Oh, okay. But Yoshi is the green dinosaur from the, the uh, Nintendo universe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jokes are funnier when you explain them. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> Me too. Um, you have a thing with the paddle with the thing. Oh, it's a Star Wars yeah. character. <laughs> is that a, it's a track? Back bar? <laughs> Oh, oh, is he or isn't he? Um, I have, these are all Dragon Ball Z uh, bridge references. <laughs> I don't go to Napa, I go to like uh, Auto Shack. <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna play with the dolls. I I don't want to ask you a question about Dragon Ball Z. If, you're, if you actually are dressed like a Dragon Ball Z character, your answer is coming right now. Go. Yes. Battle. So, was that a was that a pink sword fight question? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I had to pair any two characters together, <laughs> male characters. Yeah. So let's have it, Chris. Oh gosh, let's see. Who would I just love to see together? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, Vegeta and Piccolo, so I could hear you on you out. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> My balls are inert. I don't care. <laughs> With Yamcha and Mr. Popo and Turtle watching. Uh. <laughs> Whoa, awesome! <laughs> I never did this with Bulma. <laughs> Mr. Popo does not lie. <laughs> my cane. <laughs> oh, it's like being John Malkovich for Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're under 15. <laughs> all, you're lying, all of you are lying. There are liars out there. I know there are liars. <laughs> We're all born in 1900, first of, uh, January. January. <laughs> Back there, with the head. <laughs> oh, wow, I love it. <laughs> okay, does he get a Timbit? <laughs> so, the first question was really you just telling me how long it took for one or the other. So you want me to comment on that? Hold on, time out. It, you ready? Oh. Whip it! Oh wow, where's this going? Oh. It's over 9,000! That Timbit made it there. You failed in your capture. My power, um, my power level is not over 9,000. My power level is like 350. My cholesterol is over 9,000. <laughs> I had a really early flight, so, you know, power levels pretty low today. Get a sensu bean then. Uh, they, they don't sell sensu beans in Toronto, yeah. apparently they're illegal. They, they used to sell them, but they put these nasty pictures of lungs and stuff on them. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> Warning sensu beans yeah. that can cause fetal alcohol syndrome. I don't know. <laughs> Sensor beans can cause unrealistic <laughs> visions of the future. <laughs> Gohan grew up and he's like, what? People actually die? <laughs> I like it when I don't do anything on a panel but laugh at these two. Okay, uh, Colleen, I'm going to let you pick. I see, uh, I see a parasol, a hat, and a boot. You know what? I'm going to break the mold. With somebody who doesn't have a prop because they're they're defying okay. the law we set out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What's a typical uh, conversation between them if you were to do one right now? 
What's a typical conversation if I was going to do one right now of the Ginyu Force members? Just a typical one. <laughs> you know, when what? they're hanging out. God, what did I say between those guys this morning? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, gosh. Uh, we're talking about that new game that's about to come out and how much they want it. Oh, yes, yeah. I like the games with the Barbies on them. <laughs> what game is that? Is it very fast? Oh, I don't know, mate. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's the Christopher Sabbath does crappy improv panel. Um, give me a moment. My power level's still pretty low. Come back to me on that one. Those improv questions are the meanest, by uh, the way. It's like, They're really mean. Hi, I have a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> one player. <laughs> That with, uh, like, to top that. <laughs> Here's a better one. Uh, it's not over yet. Uh, we still seem to be making it. Uh, like, as of right now, I, I, uh, I don't know. In all honesty, I loved it when uh, my favorite part of the series was the first time that uh, we were recording it. And Vegeta finally kind of went crazy, like Super Saiyan. That was like one of my favorite moments because at that time we didn't. I didn't have a lot of access. We didn't have a lot of access to any fan subs. Funimation didn't really have copies of the series with like any yeah. translation. And if they did, they didn't give them to us. Uh, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they didn't have them because at that time they were even having to get copies of the tapes from Mexico. Like they they were having to use the kind of the Mexican version of the dub. Uh, for us to dub over top of, and we had these really cruddy translations that just said, ta 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 ha ha ha, the power is somewhere. And it like, so as we were going through it, like, I honestly didn't. It got me! <laughs> we didn't really. <laughs> oh, by the way, Chi Chi in the uh, Spanish dub was, her name was changed to, uh, to Milk. Oh, and that, that makes sense. Her name's Leche, eh? Yeah. Because Chi Chi means boob it does. in Spanish. Like, uh, but yeah, so we didn't honestly know the where the milk comes from. I didn't even know what was going to happen in the series that much. I mean, there, it was it was impossible to kind of see too far into the future. So when he powered up to Super Saiyan for the first time, it was actually a pretty cool moment because it was really hard. It was hard for me to yell that much, and it, it was kind of satisfying. I'm like, finally, Vegeta gets something, and then then loses a couple episodes later. But that's cool. <laughs> And um, then he gets bombed. Going yes. At least he got something great out of the deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, wow. There's a, that person not only has a prop, but like five people support. Like yeah. A fan hat, club. Hat stick guy. Mm -hmm. Huh? Sorry? They trade out Mike's taking a drink of beer. No, I mean, you wanted me to take care of Mike McFarland. Send him off. Do I need to tell anyone? A what call? A what what though? Like whatever he decides to do. That's his bit. If there's a toy called what? Oh, we don't know that anime. Yeah, I don't know it. I don't know that anime. I would say B. I have to tell Kevin where he's going. Oh, what's the name of the show called? He's going to his hotel. Toriko. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know that show, but I want to play. I know it starts with T. I want to play the one that talks the most. I want to play the guy that has a sword or huge muscles. Yeah. And doesn't want to be involved with the rest of the group. I want to play the guy that gets into the giant mech and has no mouth flaps to match. Yeah. I want to play the girl that only wants to cook for the guy, and that's how she finds her worth in life. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play the guy that loses somebody and then screams out into the sky their name. No! Uh, Is some person's name here? Uh, I want to play the girl with really big boobs. That well, that girl. could be any of them. That one. That one. Because they only have one. <laughs> Boob. In all of it. <laughs> I want to be the guy whose Japanese voice sounds like. 
死ぬよねんほんまだよねん今日は何が起こるのかこういうことは何が起こるのかこういうことは何が起こるのかこういうことは何が起こるのか<laughs> Which will go. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, you had a two part question, actually. Yeah. What was the other one? I don't understand like half the words that you say. We just got massaged. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I feel relaxed? Yeah. He said Sarge. It's a good. rooster teeth reference. It's a what? Reference? It's a red, red versus, red versus blue. blue. Oh, we got sarged. Sure yes. we did. Pretty sneaky, sis. <laughs> <laughs> One more game. Hmm. No, okay. Take out his spare rib for $100. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll pick this yeah, okay, one. Uh, two hands in the back row. Yes. Um, two part two. <laughs> one for each hand. <laughs> Bizarre. Next question. Uh, <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> Extremely happy, actually. Uh, when I saw the mustache, I was like, yes. And I begged, I mean, begged Chris, K, like Chris Bevins, who was directing GT at the time. I was like, please, please, can he say it's a mustache? Can he, can he call it a mustache? And I got away with it. I, cause I, cause he's like, well, I'm, I'm not reading it any other way. And she was like, do you like my mustache? <laughs> <laughs> I liked your, uh, I liked Vegeta's pink, um, Izod Batman shirt. Yes. That, that was, was awesome. Shirt. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, with the three shiny items, yes. Not for DBZ, I yeah. met, I met one for Rumbling Hearts. Yeah, and I've met, wow, a, an insect just flew on your mic, Chris. I'm totally not kidding. Oh my god. There's a big fly. That is the largest fly ever. They're big up here. <laughs> Use Big Bang Attack! So do you have a question? It would like to take this one. Like, oh, excuse me, my name is a fly, and I was really the voice of Vegeta. I'm here to set the record straight. <laughs> Brundle fly! You can probably see that fly from the back row, actually. It was, <laughs> it's a vulture. <laughs> okay, now the microphone smells like fly. <laughs> I forgot what the hell we were doing. Oh, Japanese counterpart. I have met um, directors. Uh, I, I have not met uh, a DBZ Seiyu, so. I met one of the directors. I forgot what his name was. Like a... a Obviously, an older dude because he's been doing it forever. Uh, I met the voice of Napa, <laughs> and I bet I met the voice of um, Majin Buu. Yeah. But that was it. That's about it. You met the director of? Did you meet the director of One Piece or Full Metal? It was Full one Metal. Year. I met uh, the the old Full Metal series. I met Seiji Mitsushima, and I met uh, Nagahama-san, who was the director of Mushishi, and he really liked the the. <coughs> Yay! Yay! Yeah. No, I haven't met the Seiyu. You're welcome. Do you want a Tim bit? <laughs> and apparently the, the guy who plays Guerrero and Sergeant Frog was at a convention not too long ago and he met Todd Habercorn. Todd Habercorn. Todd <laughs> Stone. And he uh which is an Asian. He movie. apparently sent he sent home a a disc with him that had his signature on it to give to me. Oh, I that's thought nice. that was really cool. Yeah, that's cool. really sweet. Did he hear the dub? Uh, he actually sent him a note that said, please stop doing such a terrible job. <laughs> it was awkward. Signed, my country. <laughs> That's one way to get an autograph. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, shoe. Although I... <clears throat> Yaoi girl's gonna hate me for 
But uh, what was your uh, um, first reaction when you found out about the merging uh, earrings and dance? The fusion. the fusion dance? dance? The Patara earrings? Are you referring F, F, to? F, F. Patara? I thought it was fantastic. It was great. You wear some accessories on your ears. <laughs> then you, you touch your extended fingers together until they touch. Until your extended fingers touch each other. And then you turn into one person. You become a single person. <laughs> You become whole. A whole, more powerful person. Like one of these, a whole. Yes. <laughs> Just like, I mean, uh, uh, the Piccolo and uh, uh, Kami merged, they became one. And Nail. And Nail, nail. yeah. There's three of them. Get it, Nail. nail. He got Nail! And Nail. Oh. And Nia was the one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> we're, we're being a different kind of nerd right now. I we know. We'll those nerds later. Well, you say it like I'm, I'm so all nerdy all the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll That's take. Sure. Um, yes. So, uh, how has dubbing changed from like the late '90s to now? Like the technology or the techniques or whatever. <laughs> the the dubbing technology oh changes since the '90s. Um, uh, and it wasn't just us. A lot of people used to chase tape. We used to record it to uh, like big beta masters, and it would sync up with. Even uh, when I got there, which wasn't that long ago. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and uh, it would sync up with the uh, the software that we would have to record, and we'd, we'd have to do a pre-roll of like 40 seconds, and like, uh, and then it would, they would sync up and then record. Uh, and then what people thought that. Um, matched for the mouth movements is substantially different from the 90s than now. Right. Because it, back in back when we were doing this like you you if you wanted to check to see if the mouth movements looked correct, you have to stop the tape and it would have to rewind and then we get stuck rewinding and and they would try and rewind all the beginning. You have to stop it and then it would have to go <laughs> And then it would play. So basically, back in that time, we used to go, all right, you get one chance at this. And then, <laughs> and then you get as many wild takes as yeah, you want again, to do afterwards. Slower, bigger, stress that word. Yes. I'm pretty sure that will fit. That's We're not checking. Fit. Let's move on. I mean, it, just to give you some example, we can, we can probably record... 20 lines in the same amount of time that it would take us to do maybe three lines. I mean, we could, now we can record instantly. You can go record, 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 record. Before it was like record, bow, oh, let's go smoke a cigarette. Yeah. You guys yeah. ready? <laughs> yeah. We're going to record in yeah. 40 seconds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and half the takes were wasted because you would start recording, uh, right when it started recording, was as you were starting talking. So if you started a little bit before it started re recording, it <laughs> yeah, would clip off, off the, the beginning, beginning of, of, the your, word. of your words. And now it it actually records long before you start talking. So there's no chance of yeah. clipping off the beginning. Oh, what are you guys talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yes. How is that bird moving? It's freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, genius. She's got the wand on it. Okay, sorry, I, I can't focus anymore. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> it's a griffin from Gryffindor. <laughs> Slytherin. Yes, yes, Oh, sorry. Sorry, right, we're supposed to be thinking of the uh, Whose turn was it? Uh, it was I my think turn. Left I, I pick you. You've got a bird that's cool. <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask if you guys have seen Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh. Yes. That doesn't exist! Um, wow. I saw it. Um, uh, we, I saw it with a few other folks that worked on uh, the Dragon Ball series. We went to... Um, there's a movie theater not far from the studio, and next to that is... Uh, it's closed now, but there was a Gameworks, which is like old-school video games, new video games, sideshow, uh, uh, midway-type games, and alcohol and food. And so we partook of all of those things, heavily on the alcohol and the food, before the movie started, and then it was an awesome, awesome movie. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> I never did see it. Yeah. It was the best movie. It was so good. Did you guys not love it? It was so accurate to the series. It was so like... <laughs> Such an accurate portrayal of what the, I loved everything about it. Like Mr. Roshi, what was Bird in it? 
It didn't have any of you in it. Yeah. Yeah, there, actually, that was kind of awesome. Like, there was this rumor that I was the voice of the dragon for a little while. Yeah. And for whatever reason, it made my IMDb star meter go up like a thousand percent. It was just like, <laughs> where are Christmas next? How high did it go? Like, like, it went, it went oh, 9,000 times higher than that. Um, yeah, it was it was nuts. And then Kyle Aber was sure to make sure and post on his uh, blog that uh, I was in fact he not. He ruined uh, everything. He ruined my star meter, <laughs> and I will never forgive him for it. Uh, actually, I went and saw that movie with uh, John Bergmeier, the guy who he plays uh, Tien. He was also the the script supervisor for the Dragon Ball Z series. His mother was actually the voice of Frieza, and um, just a little bit of trivia. Yeah, old school Frieza, not new Frieza. Old school Frieza. Yeah, and um, yeah, we went, and we were actually taking bets to see how many people would actually be in the theater when it started. <laughs> and I actually won until four people left right after like three minutes worth of the movie. Like, <laughs> I, I was. Uh, Pretty amazed by it, honestly. I, I was amazed that in such a huge world, like they had so much to dip into. Like they had the entire Dragon Ball Z universe to dip into, and yet they still felt the need to make up new characters. <laughs> like they go to see whatever that Oracle character is, whoever that dude was. I was like, oh, yes, they're going to see Mr. Popo, but it wasn't. No, was, his name was like Jack or something. I don't know. Uh, it was. It was. Uh, it was funny. It I happened. figured we, we all won, though, because we have something to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> and if we're lucky, they'll do another one. <laughs> oh, God, no! The more but, you know. But they already, what, what's funny is they, they already made the Dragon Ball Z live action movie. It was called Matrix Revolutions. <laughs> Go watch it. The last 20 minutes is Dragon Ball Z, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. You made a Neo reference earlier. He was the one. He was the one. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. My star meter would have been huge. Why <laughs> not? Uh, it'd have been awesome. Yeah. It'd have been nice if they consulted anyone. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, actually, I, I I like the fact that you're holding a DBZ shirt, but the but I gotta get rid of the distracting kind of like like claws that are behind but you. Called on that person. That is so cheating. Oh wait, did you hold up a different prop? Hold on. No. Colleen, Colleen referred to that as the shiny things. Oh, earlier. That's it. Let me let me get the DBZ shirt guy, the Vegeta yes. shirt guy. Bowling shirt. The, or we call it the Kyle A. Bear wardrobe. Yes. <laughs> or the used to be Chris Savitt wardrobe. Until Kyle stole my look. <laughs> look, I wouldn't be so harsh on Kyle if he didn't have to debunk me as the dragon. Okay? <laughs> Did you what? have things to say? <laughs> He's like, do you like my shirt? <laughs> it's a two-part question. <laughs> Would you like me to wear it for you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It just, because of that last Dragon Ball movie that came out so many years later, mm -hmm. you find out in the movie that Vegeta had the Dragon Ball Z Uh, it's it's fascinating, but to be honest, I haven't seen I haven't been able to see it yet. Like it hasn't been released yet, so we ha I haven't actually gotten to see a copy of it. Little brother, um, I'm sure that you guys are all like, God, you're an idiot. You could find it on like filezilla.net or whatever. But uh, he doesn't actually, uh, I just haven't had a chance to see it yet. We recorded a voice for it for one of the games. And it was supposed to have been included on one of the, the Dragon Ball uh, game titles, but I don't know what happened to it. Uh, <laughs> great. <laughs> My toys are tainted. I love you. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Three sword style. <laughs> Someone else join in. <laughs> Three swords. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Parasol guy. That's super awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys keep writing me out.
out. This is not cool. <laughs> Which one did you take, Chris? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I would I would not settle with just one. Uh, I'm sorry. Which twelve would you take? <laughs> I told you I would take. Well, actually, I would have taken the Android Saga if given the option, because there are a lot more characters in that saga too. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm. I. How could I say I'd want any other character besides Vegeta? He honestly is like the best character to play in the show because he's the cool. Honestly, he's the coolest character in the show. Get Goku cool is a dork, too. and uh, Piccolo is just strange. No one wants Dragon Ball. What? Um, <laughs> what about Guru? <laughs> what about Guru? Um, I tried playing Guru once. It was it was a he's bad idea. Clean <laughs> glass. Yeah. I'm clean up here. I like my character in that show. Bro, she's fine. Per boobies. Girls in the front row. You. Yes, you. You're in the front row. <laughs> is this a question DBZ for me or for them? <laughs> On a DBZ panel, it is definitely slanted this way, but you guys should see what it, well, I'm sure you have seen. When Vic, if Vic comes in here right now, there will be no more DBZ questions. Yeah. <laughs> it will be all full metal, all Vic, all the time, which is great, because then we just get to sit there. Uh, <laughs> I get paid back on Hitalia panels, actually. <laughs> Pasta. Because I'll have to sit through the whole panel, and I only, really only worked for that show for about 15 minutes. Like, but you were good at Parom. Yeah, I was. Uh, but once I sing the song, I have no opinion on the show whatsoever. Like, like, I should just come in, sing it, and leave. Uh, yeah, I understand. I mean, I have better answers than other people. And so that's why people just call on me more really often. what it is. You should actually direct all of your questions for us to him, too. Yes, I'd be happy to Chris answer has all of their questions. I have a question about Colleen. Um, I have a question I'd like Colleen what to ask. What was her response? Yeah. <laughs> what would Colleen say if I asked her? <laughs> uh, yes, you, the, the thing, the, like, what is that thing? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, from Naturally. Dr. What? <laughs> Dr. Wynn. <laughs> uh, I have two questions. Yes. Does it have to be in the Dragon Ball universe or just ever? Um, uh, Baby from GT heard a lot. Um, no. <laughs> he got that one himself. Yeah. Um, yeah. And be, because it was like this. You know, just scream and fight and stuff with that voice. Um, Ritsu from Fruits Basket was hard just because it was constant. <laughs> Kind of all over the place. Um, and uh, those two stand out the most as the painful ones. Uh, Buggy's not quite as, as as rough as Baby from GT is, but he's like second, third place as far as the ah! kind of voice. Yeah. It is painful to direct Mike on the game stuff for Baby, though. It's it's hard for me. <laughs> I feel so bad because Mike comes in to do it, but a lot of the game like it, he's fine when it's all the lines, but when you get to the parts that are all the fighting reactions, it's like the. <laughs> For whatever reason, that voice in combination, like with those really short like, bursts, bursts of energy, makes him get the hiccups really bad. <laughs> and then really he's bad. trying to do it. He's like, <laughs> and it looks so painful. <laughs> like, am I just trying to say? Yeah, it's, it's, there's so much like compression on my throat. Like, <laughs> oh, sh I would say Luffy uh, in One Piece because obviously that's a really hard voice, and I Mike makes me climb vines for five episodes. But I, I didn't draw it. At the same, I blame you. Yeah. Uh, and a little bit <laughs> Michael Tatum. At the same time as I got Luffy, I also got Zealotus, which I talked about in my panel yesterday, which was the goat demon lady who talked like this, and that's just the way she talked the whole time, and it really sucked going from Luffy to her. All at the same time, it was miserable. So. My second question. But he didn't answer. In Vegeta's voice. Oh, he's gonna know. Yes. <laughs> uh, Vegeta's voice, could you please say Renegade for Light? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Renegade for Life? <laughs>
He, he has such conviction, he's so certain. <laughs> he didn't give me any context information. <laughs> uh, who's true? I, uh, some guy. Uh, I'll, I'll pick. Do it. Uh, yes. Right by the emergency exit door in the back. Mm-hmm. There's a door behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Which now never the, works. Now the question begins. <laughs> uh, I'm a Vegeta? Wait, I didn't understand that. Like, right. Am I? Am I supposed to say that? <laughs> there's oh, a YouTube no, no. channel. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. We didn't hear the part where there was a YouTube part, yeah. channel. I thought this was going to be another, you just got sergeant. No, I don't I don't actually know what that you is. You just got generaled. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I should check it out. Is it a parody or is it just a... <laughs> oh, wow. That, and you don't know that? <laughs> It all crazy. makes sense now! It, it's a Chris Prince It's channel. actually going on at his house 24-7. Is it completely out of context or where they're supposed to be? Uh, okay. Uh, so it's, that, it's Chris. It's all making sense now. <laughs> if only I spent more time Googling myself, I would know. <laughs> No, thanks for the thanks for the tip. I'm now never doing any more like Vegeta quotes for anyone ever. No. <laughs> Blame him. I'm just kidding. Uh, three swords. Plus, apparently, there's an app for that. <laughs> Who has our next two-part question? One. What do you think of yogos? Yo, yogos? You can't just shout out a question. Yeah. I'm so not the Especially yeah, we have a yogurt-related question. Nope. <laughs> Colleen Pick. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, the rolled up magazine, it looks like. Have you ever tried to do the fusion dance? <laughs> I'm doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> In my pants. <laughs> fusion. Ha! How does the fusion dance go? We will do it with the dolls. Three source style. Three source style. Fusion dance. <laughs> what do we do? You. Come towards me. Okay. Do exactly what I do, but in reverse. I can't see. Ha! Ah. <laughs> yep, and then you kiss. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> Alien yes, love. Yes, we have. I'm a cucumber. Ah. <clears throat> that was a joke. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Officer? Uh, what are your personal thoughts on the Russian roulette that happened on Snake Way? I feel so out of my depth in this the Russian, The Russian roulette that happened on Snake Way? The crazy woman that shot herself in the head, pulled out a gun. Princess Snake. Oh yeah, we're pretty, okay, yeah. What? Okay. Uh, yeah. I, what? When when Goku was running forever, right? You yeah. If it if it makes you feel any better, you were you were the voice of Princess Snake, I think. Terrific. Like you. <laughs> I think you've replaced that boy uh, that voice. All right. Yeah. Scarlett McAllister was originally, and then I right. replaced it. Yeah. And I I thought it was um to be honest, I thought some of the Snake Way stuff was a little bit distracting for me. Like I just kind of really wanted to get to the point and. Uh, so I kind of missed out on it. Like it, it wasn't my favorite part, if you want me to be honest. But uh, if you want me to be politically correct about it, I loved every bit of it, <laughs> and it was awesome. And it taught kids valuable lessons. <laughs> By Sabbath. <laughs> and that's one to grow on. Yes. The more you know. Um, I choose. <laughs> The over here, you're stretching something up, I think? No, it's a, you have a, is that an antenna? Where? Yes, you. You're talking now. Oh, but you're talking louder now? <laughs> Speak up! What about the longest you've ever had to yell for? <laughs> uh, like all day or like, a, like in one stretch of time? Any, you just pick any of them in Dragon Ball Z, man. Same, Some of yeah. them are just like long, long, long. You go, ah, yeah. 
and you hold it as long as you can, and then you think you finally got it, it goes over a cut, and then still the mouth is still yeah. open. <laughs> I mean, I, th I think some of them are north of 20 seconds, which is more than ridiculous. Oh, the, I, I remember back in the day, some of them were like, literally you were supposed to scream, and we would just have to you have kind to of go it. over a cut and stitch them together, but some of them were two minutes long. Yeah. So it, like, I just meant like as, as far as like actually being able to complete one. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. I about think north of 20 seconds is about the end. Yeah, it depends on how how much voice you're throwing into it. Like, you can hold one out for longer if it's kind of weak sounding. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ah, I'm gonna uh, feed it. But, uh... <laughs> and it's way easier to do if it's in your normal voice. Like, if I'm screaming just like a girl scream, that's a completely different thing than if I'm doing a Luffy scream. Like, when Luffy was climbing the vine, that was my yeah. longest probably. Or when you were kicking crocodile butt. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. That hurt me. Yeah. But Someone I else directed I that, that and I watched it. Stuff. Yeah. So, a lot. Yeah. I hurt. Ouch. Pain. Yeah. Um, I'll pick. How about front row? All right. All right. So, I've uh, been following the uh, the home releases of Dragon Ball Kai. Okay. And um, it's really good. Like, just congratulations to everybody. A really good job on the on the dub from that. Um, one thing that I've been finding interesting is, Chris, you are a trained singer, and you have not yet sung the opening theme to. Ah, uh, yes. Excellent point. That's a really good point. <laughs> but uh, as a trained singer, I'm known, uh, I know my limitations. And that the song is absolutely not in my range yes, at I. all. Like, uh, the, only, the only way I can sing every one of the notes is if I sing it down an octave. And I, and I actually, hopefully on the extra features, you'll get to see, you'll get to hear the version that I did and sent to Funimation as a joke. Dragon Soul. It, it was like, it was so bad that I actually started making fun of myself while I was doing it. It's like, and I just started doing it in a deep southern accent too, because there was no way to like, mysteries of bang. <laughs> and then I'll go, hey, being free. You have to hear uh, that? I'll give you strength. How do you give me love? I mean, it's, it just didn't work. It didn't work. Uh, and like, I think I actually ended it with an expletive. It was like, dragon soul. Yeah, bleep. And, uh, <laughs> so it, was, it was bad. It was really bad. That's why it hasn't happened. Because I don't want to embarrass myself on 60,000 copies of the <laughs> Blu-ray coming out soon. Available on DVD. Um. Uh, yes, with the blue shirt here, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, two things. Like, everybody two things. else keeps asking. Mm -hmm. First thing is, uh, earlier someone mentioned the 2008 special, which apparently Chris never actually watched. But how do you mean, I'm surprised never actually got you guys to do that. Or the uh, Raiding Blast 2 uh, remake of uh, Plan to Eradicate the Saiyan. Like, how come you guys never were told to even attempt it? Like, I don't know if it's a. I, I imagine if, if Funimation. Like, <laughs> I can't imagine why Funimation did not want to release it. I'm sure they probably want to. I. I don't know if we missed or if it was just something we're like, you know, can't have. Yeah. Because it's, it's it's honestly a matter of like the. I mean, you know, the Funimation doesn't own that show. It's not it's not theirs. So they only license the yeah. ability to dub it. And it's not like. Cool, license, that's taken care of. Now anything that's Dragon Ball, you can just have it. It's like yeah. each individual thing, this has its own little agreement. Yeah, because it was done later, it's probably something different and it doesn't fall in Funimation's agreement. And I don't I don't know, that's, that's legal stuff. We just do what we're told, we just make sounds. <laughs> Mostly fart sounds, but sounds nonetheless. I stopped. Thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai uh, Blu-rays. Blu -rays. DVD covers. Oh, well then sit down. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, spend the other three dollars, dude. <laughs> uh, I actually have two questions. One for Mr. Savage and one for uh, all of you on the answer. Uh, the first question for Mr. Savage is, of all the episodes Vegito was in, which one was your most favorite? Uh, the, easily the that fight between Vegeta and Goku when Vegeta is Majin. Yeah, like that's my favorite fight of the whole series. That's my favorite time in the entire series. It's the second question is, if you could 
you have any advice for anybody who wants to become a voice actor or is thinking about becoming a voice actor, what would it be? It would be make sure you don't marry someone who wants to move you to another town. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that was a joke. Um, don't, uh, you're going to have to move to where the market is, and that market yeah. is in Dallas. Yeah. Perhaps in L.A. Or Vancouver. Or Vancouver. Yeah. yeah. Or, New York uh, City. or New York City. Yeah. And it's a, that's the, that would be the first thing. But what I've been telling people recently is, like, you've heard all the, you've heard all the people talk about, like, this DBZ Bridge thing. Like, you don't have to... You don't actually have to be a dub actor in order to dub stuff. You can you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. You know, be careful not to sell it, yeah. uh, or else you get <laughs> in trouble. Like but yeah. you do have the ability to be a voice actor now. And uh, the best way to sell a show to anybody, if you're trying to market a show, is to actually have a show. And so, if you can already prove that you're already voice acting, you're already doing it, it'll be a lot easier to convince someone to let you do it. And it's great practice, so when you finally do get that audition somewhere, you'll be you'll be pretty confident with it. Yeah. You know? My suggestion is to pursue acting in many different forms rather than just uh, voice acting and even more specifically just dub voice acting. Uh, any actor that you find in our studios is an actor in other formats. It's not uh, it's not something that you can learn without learning how to act. Yeah. Uh, Along with that, I would also throw in the, um, as, as, as far as a form of uh, acting study, to study improvisation as well. It forces you to make quick choices on stuff and to stick with them. And as far as like going into audition and do whatever else, you have this information and this information, and it forces you to like instantly make a decision. It makes uh, that process easier for you because you are trained to do it all the time. So yeah, acting classes, voice classes, all these sorts of things. Those are all very important. It's actually better to be a great actor than it is to have a great voice. Mm -hmm. To have people come in with great voices that can't act, but they can sell the hell out of like some Bank of America stuff or something. Yeah. How are we doing on time? We have uh, like we could like two, three more questions, like five, ten minutes at the most. You go. Me pick. I pick. Um, what looks to be a house in the back of the room. <laughs> your, your drill bit arm. Yeah. Say that one more time, a lot louder, please. Sorry. You could merge any anime universe. With Dragon Balls? Let's see, what's something where a lot of people died? Yeah. <laughs> Full metal, but I think it'd be hilarious to merge like a clamp uh, show <laughs> with DBZ to have like these elongated, beautiful people flying and floating and then fighting each yeah. other for five episodes. Yeah. That would be funny. And the uh, the fighting would look a lot different. A lot different. It'd be a lot, a lot more glitter and feathers. <laughs> <laughs> I think the the best show to merge DBZ with would be the show that Mike directed called Mushishi because <laughs> it's the. <laughs> It's the calmest show where everybody's talking like this all the time. I love that show. It would so be my great song, if it yeah. was just like Travis Willingham and people just talking like this about their feelings and then cut away to <laughs> ah! <laughs> and they cut back to like and then one day I woke up and I saw a rainbow and I had to find the rainbow. <laughs> and they cut away to you have not enough power for me! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd like to see. I love Mushishi. <laughs> Someone please make me the Mushishi slash Dragon Ball Z mashup. <laughs> Dragon Soul. Uh, Colleen, pick. I picked the last one. Uh, yes, you are very anxious about this, yes. Me? Uh huh. Okay, uh, this is for Chris. Yes. Um, what's your opinion on them releasing uh, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3, and just the games, but not the show? Uh, I'm really upset. <laughs> uh, I think the games are just allowed a lot more freedom. They're just allowed a, a, a lot more freedom to do things. I'm sure that if they were still making Dragon Ball Z, they'd probably do whatever you wanted to do. I really do wish they'd make a new series, to be honest. I kind of wish they would redraw it or expand on it. I'd like to see more of uh, Trunks' history. Some new things, you kind of ignored the second question anyway, and went up to someone else. I think it was 
Oh, I'm sorry. Moving on to our new things, if you haven't noticed, which is kind of my second thing, like, they have whole new animations for, like, this new arcade thing. Unfortunately, they don't count. Like, they have Super Saiyan 3 trunks for Dragon Ball Heroes. Like, it's an arcade game in Japan. You'll right. Uh, they have, like, we're doing a whole new Super Saiyan Bardock manga right now. Like, uh, Toriyama is kind of, like, uh, supervising it, so there are some new things. Um, and probably the most uh, famous thing uh, is Dragon Ball Online MMO that Toriyama is doing. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you've ever heard of that yet. Uh, they just moved on to the Freeza song. So if no one's ever heard of it, you may want to look it up. It's probably Toriyama's last thing that she's doing. Okay. That's fair. That was way too factual, and it had actually way too much useful information in it. Yeah. That's why it bored everybody. <laughs> this is the Dragon Ball Z Super Panel. You finally talk about stuff that's Dragon Ball Z related, and everyone's like, this is get some of the <laughs> When's it going to say over 9,000 like Gundam? Yeah. Yeah. Do you? I get that too. What's my lines for next week? Yeah. That's exactly what I got. That's all we have time for. It is all we have time for. That was it. He answered our last three questions for us. But thank you guys very much for coming. We appreciate it. I believe. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky.